Now, uh, looking at the dogs, I'm missing the Frenchies right now, right? Do you have any dogs, by the way? Yes, I've got two Spaniels, Frankie and Robbie. Frankie Sinatra and Robbie Williams, my two favorite singers. Oh, wow. So I'm going to, my dogs, if I ever get dogs, will be Jimmy Nevis and John Legend. Okay? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we digress. We are back in the kitchen now. If you are looking for a recipe that's speedy, full of flavor and pennywise, look no further than our Be Well butternut soup with garlic twist. You know, we're always adding that extra twist uh, to our recipes. Now, a one pot wonder made using Bewell olive and canola mayo that contains no animal products, dairy or eggs. Now this vegan's delight is loaded with immune boosting ingredients like turmeric, ginger and garlic and exactly what we need as we hashtag stay home and battle through COVID-19. This is so good. You know, Jamie, when I was driving here this morning, I can feel the chill in the air uh -huh. and I was thinking tonight is soup night. Tonight is soup night. So um, this is what I'm going to actually make tonight. Winter is coming. It's coming. <laughs> I, it, you know what? I was never a fan of butternut soup because yeah. I didn't like the consistency. But I know that you're going to change my mind with this yes. recipe. Yes. Win me over. Yes. Win me over. You're going to love it. What do we need for this? So we need onion chopped. We need beautiful warm spices. I've got turmeric, cinnamon and cumin here garlic and ginger paste and butternut. That's what we're going to start. And then with the mayo, we're going to make beautiful twists, those beautiful, delicious, crispy twists. This looks delicious. Yeah. I just want to dip in there and just get in there. So we're going to start with our soup. With our soup first, with the yes. soup. So you always brown your onion. You tasted the raw onion yesterday yes. and the caramelized onion, so you know why we're doing I this. I can confirm It's that. adding that beautiful flavors to it. Again, that tip was to put it on a slow heat and yes. then do it gradually as opposed to just burning it and then yes. Putting water. To get that sweetness out. Sweet now I'm going to add some turmeric. Okay. Some cumin and some cinnamon for like a warm, warm, wintry feeling. And I also like to add a little bit of pinch of curry to my. To that bah. Oh, just like it. That you can taste in your mouth. it. It's absolutely delicious. So we're going to fry that off. Chili we... flakes as well. Would you say chili flakes as well to give Jamie, it a meat? For sure. Hey, no platons. Just put it in, put it in. And I put some garlic and ginger paste in here. If you don't have the combined garlic and ginger paste, you can always just make your own. A bit of garlic and a bit of ginger. That's it. And Bob's your uncle. Yeah. And, course, and now we're going to add everybody. some stock to this. Here's my thing with stock, because I don't always have stock. Oh, no. Is there any way that I can create my own kind of stock uh, to add then to this dish? Yes. You can make your own stock with the old veggies in your fridge, like your carrots that's lying around, the butternut. It's a good way to get, you know, all those flavors, flavors. in it. But if you don't have stock, just use water and add a bit more salt. That's, that's what I'm always saying. We'll give you that. Chunks of butternut. Jamie, if you don't have butternut, if you've got carrots, use it. If you've got pumpkin, use it. If you've got parrots, car say parrots. Parrots. Carrots also and the parrots, pumpkin. Also the parrots, also the If you've got carrots and pumpkin, you use it. You know, you use what's in your fridge. So we're going to put that in and we're going to boil that till it's done or cooked. Okay. But what's nice, you can also bake it in the oven. It's going to I was going to ask you now, would... would would me roasting that that butternut mm. before actually putting it in the blend? High five, my see, yes, we have a right chef to rock. That will be brilliant. <laughs> okay. okay. You cook that off, you blitz it up, and you add some coconut cream to that. Coconut cream. If you don't have coconut, normal cream. Okay. But now to the piece that is a stone. This is my favorite stuff. It I love so it. So yummy. Oh. And this is Are we cheating? Are we cheating with um how we're making it? Are we not? You, you, did you make that? Did you wake up at 5 o'clock this morning uh, 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 to make this? I bought it. Oh, a convenience life. No, morning. no, you buy this at the stores, please. And just defrost it and roll it a little bit thinner and put it on. You can use it as is. Yeah, it's about convenience right now. Yeah. So you can see everything is vegetarian and vegan here today. It's amazing. So we're going to use this delicious mayo that we're using the olive one because it's going to give that olive flavor. Cream. Have you really tasted it? Like yesterday I had a whole spoon and it was really delicious. I love it. So that. we're going to add some mustard to this. Mm. Once again, if you don't want, if you don't have mustard, use mustard powder, anything. You're going to, well, yeah, yeah, I'll smear it. Yes, smear, smear it up. Like a duck, Jamie. You must not scum with this story. No, 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 absolutely not. Okay. Then we're going to, this is the trick. You're going to smear it on and then you're going to cut it in like strips, like that. I'm just going to do one for time. Okay. okay. Oops, I said picky fussy, you were. And then we're going to do sprinkle some garlic powder. If you don't have garlic powder, use normal Regular. powder. Okay. And a bit of herbs. If you don't have herbs, do, do your own herbs, rosemary. rosemary. And then you just twist it in like a 
Twist it. Twist it. Let's twist, twist again, again like, like we did last, last summer. summer. Yeah. Okay. And then you bake that on full wax, 20 degrees for about eight minutes. Look at that. Taste one. Please taste one. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. You are. Don't let Ryle see because I'm cold free. Yeah, I was so with with Ryle the whole time in the omtrack. Mm -hmm. What is that flavor? Garlic, the mm. herb of this together. And is this creaminess. so gorgeous. The creaminess. I can taste the olive in it as well, like that you, olive of yeah, the mayonnaise. Yeah. This is perfect. Please. Oh. Can I also have one? Yes, Raoul, can I have one? I'm going to have one. Mm. And you dip that in your soup, Jamie. Can you just imagine dipping it in that soup? I am converted. Butternut soup <laughs> has now become my favorite thing. But of course, it's adding that own garlic twist to it. Remember, you can find this recipe and other winter ideas on expressoshow.com. Happy eating, everybody. Yeah.